that's actually an, another interesting kind of topic is that if you look around uh, ancient history, you can see that different civilizations on different continents had very, very similar building structures, like for example, with pyramids and with those kind of, I uh, forgot what they're called now, the ob- maybe they're obelisks or something. You can even see them in Washington now and like various other places where it's like a long pillar with a small pyramid on top. Right. And uh, yeah, there's this theory that it was actually higher beings or like extraterrestrials that came and influenced or helped build those things. And they had a crazy, like really advanced civilization. And then every few thousand years, like I think it's every 2,100 years, the cycle, if you will, it kind of gets reset. And then the civilization or the level of technology gets brought back down to like a really basic level. And then and then it builds up again, almost like um, like a farmer kind of harvesting their crop and then they reduce it back to nothing and then it has to grow up again because uh yeah i mean whoever built the pyramids was either an interdimensional kind of demigod or they had knowledge of advanced electrical power magnetism stuff that we don't even have now i mean because I, think, uh, um, I don't know if you heard of uh, graham hancock yeah 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 he, he says it best about um human history has a, a sort of amnesia like there is parts of human history that because it was so in the past that we just don't know about. But like I say, when you look at pyramids and the, the exact coordinates to the speed of light, like to the decimal place, yeah. like, there's just no way that ancient humans, unless they were evolved in a more uh, way that was more intelligent or they had alien help, there was no way they did it just from our level of intelligence. There was some other source of external help going on, definitely in our human history. Of course, yeah. The funniest thing is when I, you see these explanations of how they're supposed to have built the pyramids and there, it'll be an animation of like these slaves rolling bricks or like rolling the, the stone blocks on logs. And you think like these things weighed several tons, like some of them weighed a lot and there's no way you could roll those on logs. Like you would have to have immense physical strength Literally. and a lot of time. <laughs> 100%. I, I think um, it was Graham Hancock again that said that in order for, because the pyramids are so big, in order for them to have um, a ramp that takes the rocks or however they were getting the things up there, the gradient of that would be so long that it would still be here to this day. This um, sand ramp that they built, but yet there's nothing like that. Like, we, we just honestly just don't know how their precision was so good. It's mind Yeah. No, and that's the thing. So I think I saw that clip actually of Graham Hancock talking about the ramp. And the, the, the gradient it would have had to have been. But even that wouldn't explain how they managed to cut perfectly chiseled like channels all the way through with no tool marks, no kind of evidence of how they did it. They placed the blocks and then they seem to like, they, it seems like they cut the channel after they placed the blocks in there. So how on earth would they have done that? And it's like laser precision. Literally, it literally And is. perfectly, perfectly aligned to certain constellations, which they were supposed to not even know about or like they they shouldn't have been able to calculate that well, all these ancient civilizations at the same time all in the yeah. line of longitude around like they just knew somehow they knew something <laughs> yeah oh, i love i love the pyramids um egyptian stuff in fact i saw one thing the other day that said there was apparently no there have been no hieroglyphs found on the inside of the great pyramid and no pharaohs have been found inside the Great Pyramid, because they say that, they try and say that like, it was a, a tomb for the pharaohs. And I think some of the other pyramids were, but the Great Pyramid, which is a really unique one, apparently no hieroglyphs and no pharaohs inside. Oh yeah, I wonder why that is. Yeah, I mean, that would suggest that it was older than the Egyptian cult, the, the, than the Egyptian civilization. Yeah. Maybe they found it and kind of used it. Yeah, no, that is crazy. 